guys, is your bike suffering from screeching brakes? Your bike is probably the victim of contaminated brake pads, either from oil, grease, or even soap from when you last wash your bike. We're going to head over to our local bike shop and get this problem resolved. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony. I'm Justin. And today we're here at Block Bikes. We brought in Justin's bike to uh, get the brakes checked out. And our cool friend Rich, he basically just let us borrow the stand and said, hey, throw it on there and figure it out yourself. So we're gonna be throwing his bike on here to see what's happening with his screeching brake. This sound has really been driving me crazy, so let's just get it fixed. First, go ahead and hang your bicycle up on the stand so that it's easy to work on and remove the front wheel. You'll have to remove either the quick release or if you have a through axle, go ahead and use your hex wrench to remove it. Once you've done that, start by removing the brake pad axle or pin from the caliper. That will enable you to remove the brake pads. Now pull out the brake pads and make sure you don't pull on your brake lever. That will close your caliper pistons and we'll have another problem in our hands. Make sure you keep all your parts together and get yourself some sandpaper. You'll be using that to scrub away some of the glazing and contaminants from your brake pads. After you're done doing that, go ahead and soak them up with some rubbing alcohol and wipe them down with a clean paper towel. The rest of the alcohol will evaporate. The next step is to dip in a paper towel with rubbing alcohol and wipe your brake disc off as clean as possible to make sure we remove all the yucky stuff. Now that everything is clean, use a hydraulic piston press or a flat screwdriver very carefully to push the pistons back in as far as possible. Now assemble your brake pads with the spreader spray and insert them into the caliper. them in trying to align the brake pad axle hole. Now reinsert the brake pad axle pit and bend one of the ends. Finally, it's time to put your wheel back on and you're back in business.
breaks now. Ah. Thanks for watching another one of our how-to videos. We hope this video comes in handy. And remember, I'm Darren, and always be sick, boy!